Hi everyone, in this video I am going to tell you some tricks to remember the classification of invertebrate or to remember the phylums that comes under invertebrate in a correct sequence. If you can't remember the names of the phylum under invertebrate that too in a correct sequence then this video is for you. So without much delay, let's begin the video. According to R.H. Whittaker, five kingdoms classification, all organisms are classified into five kingdom. That is kingdom Monera, kingdom Protista, kingdom Fungi, kingdom Animalia and kingdom Plantae. So to this five kingdom, all organisms which are present on this earth are classified into. I think it's very easy to remember the names of these five kingdoms. Still, if you feel difficult to remember these names, then I have a trick for you. And the trick is a simple sentence. And the sentence is, money provides fun and peace. I repeat, money provides fun and peace. Each first letter in each word represents the names of the kingdom. For example, the letter M-O-N from the first word money represents Monera. Next, the letter P-R-O from the word provides represents protista. Next, the letter F-U-N from the word fun depicts fungi. The letter A-N from the word and stands for animalia. The letter P from the word peas represents plantae. Isn't it interesting? So with the help of this simple sentence, you can remember the names of all five kingdoms in order. If you concentrate on kingdom animalia, it is further classified based on the presence or absence of a backbone. So it is classified based on the presence or absence of backbone into two categories. That is non-caudates and caudates. Non-caudates are the one without backbone and caudates are the one with backbone. Non-caudates is also known as invertebrate. These invertebrates are further classified into 10 phylum. They are phylum porifera, phylum ciliantrata, phylum tidophora, phylum platyhelminthus, phylum aschelminthus, phylum annelida, phylum arthropoda, phylum mollusca, phylum echinodermata and phylum hemicondita. In some textbook, even phylum protozoa is included under invertebrate but actually it comes under the kingdom protista. You may find it difficult to remember all the phylum's name, that too in a correct sequence. But don't worry, in this video I have even the trick for that. And the trick is a simple sentence. And the sentence is this. Parcel, cup of coffee in plastic bag and also apple milkshake in earthen pot to have. I repeat, parcel, cup of coffee in the plastic bag and also, apple milkshake in earthen pots to have. In this simple sentence, the first letter of the each word represents the phylum name. For example, the letter P from the first word parcel represents the phylum porifera. The letter C from the word cup represents ciliantrata. The letter C from the word coffee represents phylum tenophora. The letter P or PLA from plastic bag represents the phylum platyhelminthus. The letter A from the word and depicts aschelminthus. The letter A from the word also represents phylum annelida. The letter A from the word apple depicts the phylum arthropoda. The letter M from the word milkshake represents phylum mollusca. The letter E from the word earthen pot stands for phylum echinodermata. The letter H from the word have represents phylum hemicordata. Isn't it easy? So if you remember this simple sentence, you can remember all the names of the phylum under invertebrate that too in a correct sequence. So that is about the tricks to remember five kingdom and ten phylum under invertebrate. So if you want to know about the tricks to remember the classification of chordate, comment in the comment box. Thank you.